Um, so there's a so you go through your incident, you do the investigation, you think it's all done, but then and then you t- switch to legal mode where you're starting to either defend or attack, depending upon the position that you're in. Um, so if you're defending yourself due to a security breach. Um, typically what happens after the investigation is what's called a post-incident investigation. This is what I mentioned uh, we did the, the latitude uh, investigation. Um, and so the purpose of the post-incident investigation is to basically, um, sometimes, as I mentioned, there's multiple vendors involved in a major security breach and they've all got their own separate reports. I can guarantee you they are all not consistent. And so you go and pull together all of those reports and you create one central report. You also go through it and with a fine fine tooth comb and find all of the assumptions that have been made or a lack of evidence to back up statements that have been made. And so you need to go and collect all of that evidence and add that into the, this, this centralized report. So that's called a post-incident investigation. And then there's also additional activities, um, you know, depending upon, you know, things like class action lawsuits and uh, things like that, that, that come under that umbrella as well. Um, you also have to uh, try and justify um, that the security controls that you had in place were sufficient um, or should be would be considered by any reasonable person as sufficient to be able to protect your environment, despite the fact that you've suffered a security breach. Did you have sufficient controls in place that anyone, any reasonable person, would think is is sufficient? Um, obviously, there might be a misconfiguration that a threat actor got in, or there was a zero day that came out. Um, and it goes through and, and does a review of the security that was in place at the time and then any uplift in security that's happened to be able to justify your investment, further investment in security over time, which can obviously sort of be put into, um, you know, your court cases and things like that.